Hi, I'm Dr. Anita Saxena, Professor in the Department of Nephrology, SGPJ Lucknow. I'm going to talk to you about salt reduction. Art say thora kam. Eat right, India. The net profan movement we all participating in. Hypertension, the most important risk factor for morbidity and mortality due to cardiovascular diseases such as myocardial infarction, angina, pectoris, heart failure, and stroke, exerts a staggering worldwide burden on human quality of life and healthcare system. If you have a look at this map, this map is showing you the overall prevalence of hypertension in adults, which is around 30 to 45% with a global age standardized prevalence of 24% in men and 20% in women. Now, what is normal blood pressure? Normal blood pressure is defined as systolic blood pressure less than 120 of millimeters, millimeters of mercury and diastolic blood pressure of less than 80 millimeters of mercury and anything beyond this, which is called elevated blood pressure, which may be in stage one, stage two or hypertensive crisis. Now, Indian adults have high prevalence of hypertension with almost one in three Indian adults affected. There are around 762 million Indians above the age of 18 years, which means there are currently 234 million adults with hypertension with overall prevalence of 30.7%. Now, cardiovascular disease accounts for 30% of all deaths, and currently almost 2 million deaths annually are caused by CVD in India. Now, if you have a look at this map, this map is showing you that heart disease is the biggest killer in India. So, although most diagnosed hypertension has no obvious direct cause, dietary salt or sodium has been suggested to be an important etiological factor. Now, in Paleolithic times, the ancestors evolved on a diet containing relatively modest amount of sodium that is less than 50 mmol per day. But if you have a look at the present time, sodium intake exceeds by an extreme amount of 100 to 200 millimoles per day. Now, blood pressure is directly proportional to uh, total body sodium content. If you have a look at this figure, the usual sodium intake is between 3.5 to 5.5 grams per day, which corresponds to 9 to 12 grams of salt per day globally. Excessive sodium consumption of more than five grams per day causes increased fluid volume and consequently hypertension and the rise in systolic blood pressure with age. Now, blood pressure increases when people on low salt diet with normal blood pressure adopt Western lifestyles and increase their sodium intake. Excess salt intake induces oxidative stress and salt sensitive hypertension. High salt intake, either alone or in combination with angiotensin II, increases superoxide formation and causes oxidative stress. Sodium intake is associated with changes in circulating metabolites, including gut micro microbes. Now, change in blood pressure for a given change in sodium intake depends on individual's age and existing blood pressure. So if you have a look at this figure, this figure is showing you that if you're young and your age is between 20 to 29 years and your sodium intake is 100 mmol per day, then your, blood, your systolic blood pressure increases by five millimeters of mercury. However, if you are older in age, that is between 60 to 69 years of age, and you're taking the same amount of sodium that is 100 mmol per day, your systolic blood pressure rises by 10.3 millimeters of mercury. The term salt sensitivity describes variations of blood pressure response to salt reduction. Pressure nitroiuresis is an important mechanistic link between blood pressure and salt excretion and contributes to the regulation of both of these variables. So what happens is, if you have a look at this graph, this is a shallow curve, which is showing you that new level of sodium intake changes uh, the blood pressure and changes are according to what, the amount of sodium you're taking. But if you have a look at this steep curve, this steep curve is showing you that blood pressure is resistant to salt, to changes in salt. This relationship is, represents the performance of the entire system after various control mechanisms, mechanisms that affect renal function and blood pressure have exerted their influence after salt balance has been established and the blood pressure has stabilized. So this study is again showing you the same thing that if you increase, if you are on a low sodium intake, that is 50 mmol per day, the blood pressure is between, is 142 by 88. But if you go on to a higher sodium intake, that is a medium sodium intake of 100 mmol, the blood pressure increases to 150 by 91. And if your sodium intake is really high, that is 200 mmol per day, then the blood pressure rises to 160 by 97, irrespective of age. 
So this study has shown that there is a progressive fall in blood pressure as sodium intake is reduced. Here you can see the fall in blood pressure from a high daily sodium intake to, of 200 mmol to low sodium intake of 50 mmol of 16 by 9 millimeters of mercury was, is the same as or greater than that seen with the single drug therapies, which means that salt, reducing salt intake can actually affect your sodium, uh, your blood pressure. So salt-resistant hypertensive patients require addition of drug therapy to control their blood pressure. Now, there are two distinct ways of uh, the way salt affects blood pressure. One is relatively acute salt sensitivity of blood pressure effect spanning days or weeks. And the second is a progressive salt-induced hypertension occurring over a much longer time span in terms of decades in humans. Now, if you have a look at this figure, this figure is showing you the time course of ambulatory blood pressure response during four weeks of dietary sodium restriction. So here it is. If you are on a low sodium intake, this is how your blood pressure behaves. But if you go on a normal salt intake, that is five grams or six grams or nine grams, nine grams is very high, then blood pressure increases um, accordingly. So an excess dietary salt intake leads to dose-dependent increases in blood pressure, renal and vascular damage, left ventricular hypertrophy, abnormal ECGs, and premature mortality. So high sodium intake and increase in blood pressure levels are related to water retention, increase in systemic peripheral resistance, alterations in the endothelial function changes in the structure and function of large elastic arteries, modifications in sympathetic activity, and in the autonomic neuronal modulations of cardiovascular system. High salt intake can damage heart, eyes, and kidneys, and brain, and cause stroke. Constant high blood pressure coupled with stiffening of arteries and atherosclerosis puts one at risk of cardiac insult. A five gram per day high salt intake is associated with 17% greater risk of total cardiovascular disease, and crucially, a 23% greater risk of stroke. So therefore, prevention of cardiovascular disease is a top priority of action worldwide. So the dietary strategies for the prevention of hypertensive, hypertension include reducing sodium intake. The current recommendations for sodium intake are, one, reduce salt intake from 9 to 12 grams per day to 5 grams per day. WHO recommends a maximum adult salt intake of 5 grams per day. A further reduction to 3 grams per day, that is less than 1.5 grams, according to GNC7, will have a greater effect. NICE recommends reduction in salt intake to 3 grams per day by 2025 for the UK adult population. A 2 millimeters mercury population-wide decrease in systolic blood pressure can lead to prevention of more than 1,51,000 stroke cases and 1,53,000 coronary heart disease deaths in India. This mandates lifelong commitment to lifestyle changes. So salt reduction strategies include both upstream and downstream strategies. And the most important of them are labeling of food products, mass media campaign, and dietary counseling at work site. The general population and all um, hypertensive patients should reduce their, less, uh, their sodium intake to less than 1.5 grams uh, or to two grams per day. And JNC recommends reducing intake of salty processed foods like cheese and meat. Read labels on food products because 80% of salt consumption involves hidden salt in processed foods. Avoid canned foods and pickles. Avoid bakery products, fast foods like french fries, pizzas, burgers. Prefer no salt or low salt butter. Control, uh, in order to control salt intake, restrict eating out in restaurants. Prefer eating at home. The key message here is do not add salt to food at the table and avoid foods that are known to have a large amount of salt added. Prefer salt-free bread or chapatis. Substitute salt with herbs. The meta-analysis here has shown that reducing sodium intake by 80 mmol is associated with four and two millimeters of mercury reduction in systolic and diastolic blood pressure respectively in hypertensive and, less, and lesser reductions in normotensive patients. There are 75 countries who have adopted national, national sodium or salt reduction strategies since 2015. Here is a lesson from Finland. Since the year 1970, over 30 years of time, uh, salt intake has reduced by a third in, these, in this country, that is six grams per person per day. 
systolic pressure, blood pressure has reduced by over 10 millimeters of mercury, and mortality from stroke and coronary disease has decreased by 75 to 80% with an increase of five to six years of in life expectancy. So the key message is reduction in salt intake will lower population blood pressure and reduce incidence of stroke, heart attacks, and heart failure. It is estimated that a 15% reduction in salt intake would avert 8.5 million deaths over 10 years worldwide. Now, salt was long regarded as having a power to repel spiritual and, and magical evils. But what is it doing today? Today, salt is, has become a dysfunctional food. But it is never too late to protect your heart. Think of your family and your loved ones. Reduce salt intake gradually till you reach a point where taste favors heart, eyes, brain, and kidney health. Greater the reduction in salt intake, greater the fall in systolic blood pressure. Protect your heart, brain, eyes, kidneys, and bones by reducing salt intake. And join me in the slogan, Art Se Torakam. And I leave you with expansion of the term salt as small amount for lifetime. Thank you for your attention.